it's Polly aka The Forest Mermaid and today I'm going to be doing a tea tasting video. Um, I was sent some teas to review on my blog by Dragonfly Teas and I just thought as like a fun little extra I would do a tea tasting video with my first reactions. Just as a disclaimer I'm not being paid to make this video, it's not a sponsored video but they did send me these teas for free. So the first tea that I'm trying is this Indian spice chai. I'm it's an organic black tea and it's it says an invigorating blend of traditional spices and black tea. Um, I really like chai in general so I'm intrigued to try this. So I have a cup. I have made this according to the instructions on the packet. Um, I haven't added any milk, I haven't added any sugar, um, so it's just their tea. Um, and it smells really good so I hope it's going to taste good too. Mm. Mm. It's really nice. You can definitely taste that it's a black tea. But it has a sort of initially subtle spicy taste over the black tea taste, uh, which actually gets slightly stronger as an aftertaste. It's not overpowering. Um, I would definitely recommend this tea to people who maybe haven't tried chai before but like black tea um, because I think this would be a really good introduction. Um, yeah, it's, it's really good. I think this would be especially nice in autumn and winter and maybe used in kind of festive drinks even because it's got that kind of warm like comforting feeling and taste to it. So the second tea that I have to try is the Cape Malay Chai, um, which is an organic spiced robos. Um, I've never had a chai Robos before, so this is going to be interesting. So it has a very strong aroma. Um, you can definitely smell the robos um, and then a hint of spice. Um, Alright, so I guess I'll just try it. That's actually really nice. I am generally not a massive fan of robos, so I was worried I wouldn't like this one, but I think the combination is actually really nice. Like the Indian Spice Chai, it's not too overpowering, it's fairly subtle. The instructions on the packet say to steep it for two to four minutes, and I know that I don't like very, very steeped tea, so I've only done mine for two minutes. So I imagine you could get a stronger flavour if you wanted to from leaving it to steep for four minutes, um, but I'm really happy actually with the level of flavour of these. It's a really gentle but spicy flavour. Um, with almost a slight sort of honey taste to it. Um, yeah, the honey taste really as an, comes out more as an aftertaste. Um, it's really kind of like warm tasting, um, if you can taste warm, <laughs> um, but it's really kind of satisfying and, and comforting. Um, it's really good. So the third tea that I'm trying is this one. I think it's called Bai Mudan. It's a China white tea and it comes in this really gorgeous tin which I was a little bit in love with. Um, so this is a loose leaf tea so I'm using a teapot with this one. Here's the teapot. It's a rather beautiful one. So I'm going to pour the tea now and see how this comes out. my cup of tea. Right, let's try it. Mmm, it's 
really interesting. It um, smells and tastes very, very fresh, almost like grass, like freshly cut grass or leaves. It tastes very kind of earthy and and um, almost, again, kind of grassy, but I quite like that. It is quite refreshing. Uh, the tin for this tea says that it has a nutty flavour and I can definitely uh, taste that. This is definitely very different to the other two teas that I've already tried, but it was really good and I'm actually quite surprised because I haven't really had white tea before. So um, yeah, I'd definitely have that again. I'm very happy with that. The last tea that I will be trying today are the Dragonfly Tea Jasmine Dragon Pearls. Um, and this is a mixture of green tea and jasmine flowers. Um, I really like jasmine tea, so I'm quite excited to try this. I hope you can see this. Um, these are the jasmine pearls and when you put them into the teapot they expand. So they kind of open out like little flowers almost. Isn't that cool? It's really awesome. I pour some tea. There we go. The smell is so good. It has a strong almost perfumed aroma and it really does smell like flowers. It does smell like jasmine flowers. And the taste of it is again quite perfumed but in a nice way. It is quite a delicate flavour, quite subtle. You can tell that it's a green tea. It definitely has a taste of green tea to it. But with this sort of quite heady floral taste over the top of the green tea, it's refreshing, I would say. And almost quite a sophisticated taste. Hmm. So I was very impressed with that. I have had jasmine teas before, um, but I could tell from the taste of this one that it's a really good quality one. All of the teas in this video came from Dragonfly Teas, and I will put their website here along the bottom of the screen, but I will also put a link to their website in the description box, and you can buy all of these teas either directly from their website or you can find a list of stockists on their website. I was very happy with all of the teas that they sent me and these have been my genuine reactions and opinions because I hadn't tried any of these teas before today. Um, I was actually very pleasantly surprised because I wasn't expecting to like all of them, um, but I did. Um, so yeah, that was really good. And if you would like me to do more tea tasting videos, I am quite happy to do more. Um, because I drink quite a lot of tea and infusions anyway, so I'm quite happy to kind of share my initial thoughts or a re review or anything like that with you. Uh, so if you'd like more tea tastings, then please let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!